Okay guys, I really hope I didn't lose the first part of that video. If I did, we're making monkey farts. I ain't got very far. I'm just mixing up the um, fragrance and stabilizer. Very easily. 
Well, it splashed all over me. It's good I'm not wearing a good shirt. Yeah, no? My memory card was full and I was like, I've not recorded anything. So, and sometime or another I accidentally must have turned it on and it just run and run and run and recorded nothing because it was a black screen. And I'm like, oh, well that's great. So yeah. pretty easily. Come on, washer, give up the ghost already. Saving the rest. 
to dollopy on top. Get the rest of our colors in. Give it a swirl. So I'm not really concerned with leaving any color left, you know, for the top since we're going to be doing embeds. I got a new washer like a year or so ago. Maybe two years ago. Um, because the one that we had, we had for like 15 years and it just finally died. And this is one of those like high efficiency things, but it's still the one that has, you know, the, the agitator in there. But I swear the thing um, spins for days, it seems like. I'm like, come on. The clothes ain't got no more water left in them, I promise. But it just goes and goes and goes. Like my old one, it would have been done a long time ago. It wouldn't still be spinning. I honestly thought it would be done before I started. This is not a laundry day or anything. I was just running a load of clothes just because that's what I get for running a load of clothes, ain't it? This is consistency enough for what I want. I just want to dollop this across the top of each loaf to have somewhere to put our embeds. Know, like a, a guide for them. Woo. Gonna have to keep an eye on this soap, make sure it doesn't overheat, because if it overheats, then it will melt our little embeds we put on here, because they are just melt and pour.
All right. Now, I'm going to try to put these on using my gloves. Sometimes it's a little hard. Dumping them out. Now I'm not sure if everybody will get exactly one of each or I did not count these when I made them. Yes, I should have. But I did not. So, so far we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and that is right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You know what? I am too short. It's okay. That'll be the ones that the kids get to keep. The oddball one. They don't care. Now some of the bananas are different because it was from two different batches and you never can get the color perfect both times. These are cute. That's why it's hard putting embeds on with gloves because it's slick. And you drop it and then you end up getting soap everywhere. There we go. I think this soap deserves a little bit of glitter. Oh look, we have a, a banana. Okay, I got them all on there, or all that I had made. 
I didn't realize I was that short, but that's okay. Yeah, we got it. All right, let's get us some glitter. I got some new Galaxy glitter. Um, we have it on Be Scented. So we're gonna use some of it. Very pretty. All right, guys, we'll bring you back for the cut. Hey, guys, we are back to start cutting soap. Uh, this one is the monkey farts for the kids. And I'm going to start just a little in slice. You guys know that they picked the colors. I'm hoping to cut it with my guide, but I may not be able to. How cute is that? They did good. Ooh, we have a little bit of glycerin rivers. Let's zoom me in. Let me make sure we got all the lighting we can get. And I will adjust this to where you guys can see really good. All right, let me bring this up. You guys can see. Yeah, I think that's good. I mean, very small glycerin rivers. Um, and that is because I used a lot of titanium dioxide in the batch. How cute! I have to get pictures taken. Oh, that one's neat. design. Just going to cut the one loaf on camera. They're the same pretty much. And then this one, which will be the kids bar. I'll probably give them both those last two. Alright guys, thanks for watching.